don't get it twisted, mister. I still want you to kiss her. Herpes or not, this is your shot. Should be yes and the miss her. This that glitter pussy, have me for dinner pussy I am the prize, I've been the prize I ain't gon' hide, I am divine, I am a light I touch souls and change lives on different heights And if you scared, I ain't got time, just take a hike Herpes goddess on the track, I ain't gon' bite <laughs> I You're right, accept me or nothing at all That part, know all the great things that come with you Know that you are the table It's not what you bring to the table, know that you are the table Okay, and then your herpes is a matter of fact. If you want to be with this, you have to accept all of me or you get none of me. Okay, I want to be confident about it like you. I'm working on it. And you are everything that you if I attracted you, everything that you see in me is already within you. You just need to tap in my love. And I'm here and I got the blueprint and I got the resources. So go select the link in my bio. Healing is uh, healing ain't easy, y'all, but it's beautiful. Healing ain't easy, but it's beautiful. You can blame your herpes, you can blame the herpes stigma, or you can do like me and say herpes put me on a path to self discovery. Herpes showed my uh, showed me all the areas in which I lack self love. It was a guide for my healing. Okay. And the healing experience is not going to be pretty because you have to address things about yourself. You got to keep it a hundred about yourself. You got to take ownership for how you feel in your life for everything. You got to decide, I don't want to be a victim and I want to be a survivor today. You have to say everything that has happened to me in the past that has been wrong. Every person that has done me wrong or I felt has done me wrong, no matter how serious it may be, it's on me. Why? Because I lack self-love and from today moving forward, I am aware that I lack self-love. So I am going to do everything in my power to learn how to love myself unconditionally. You got to go in the mirror. You got to tell your secrets that you said you was going to take to the grave. You got to work through those. You got to write to your younger self. You got to work about, you got to write all the embarrassing moments in your um, past, all the things you're not proud of in your past. You got to. Figure out what lesson you're learning from them so you don't repeat it in the future. You have to do that work. It's not easy. It's going to be a lot of tears. It's going to be a lot of stress. It's going to be a lot of boo-hoos. But you got to be willing to do it, especially if you're trying to get to this point. Again, it has nothing to do with your herpes. It's everything that you haven't been dealing with. And what herpes is doing is shining the mirror. You can choose to look in the mirror or you can choose to take the herpes stigma and use it as a comfort zone and make yourself a victim and blame everything in your life on the herpes stigma. Okay. Herpes showed me how to love myself. I used to think my value was between my legs. <laughs> Say that. Same. Say that. What do you do when your ex gave it to you? Then move on. Move on. You just answered your own question. If y'all stay focusing on the things that you can't change, people always ask me, how'd you get it? Who gave it to you? If you're focusing on the things you can't change, trying to figure out who gave it to you, how, what, when, if you focus on that, you're never going to get to this end. You're never going to get over the stigma. You're never going to learn about your virus. You're not going to have no time to do anything that you can change because you're too focused and worry about the things that you cannot change, like who gave it to you or how you got it. How do you get over that? Move on. Forget about it. It holds no value in your life and it's not going to take you anywhere trying to figure out. Focus on the things you can change, your mindset, how you feel about yourself. How can you prevent the situation from happening to you again? What can you change about you? What were your faults? What led you there? How did you end up with a person that you trusted and betrayed your trust? Like, focus on the shit you can change. Don't focus on the things you can't change. And you can't change the fact that you have herpes. You can't change the fact that you think somebody gave it to you. You can't change the fact that it happened. I caught herpes last month. I'm just so sad. I don't really know how to feel. How do you want to feel? How you feel is a choice, my love. How do you want to feel? Let's get, how do you feel first? Because you say, I don't really know how to feel. How do you feel first? Do you feel dirty? 
Do you feel like no one will ever want you? Do you feel worthless? Do you feel devalued? I'm just saying all these things because this is common limiting beliefs that everyone in the community feel when they first found out they had it. You found out last month. I found out in 2015, baby, look at me. You've been dealing with herpes for a month. That's it. That's it. I need you to understand that you're the bully in the mirror. The only thing has changed is the fact that you know that you have herpes. So if you feel sad, if you feel upset, if you're feeling the stigma, it is truly because of this, what you're telling yourself, okay? Because I only, I don't know. He was a narcissist. He thought he would stop me from leaving and I still left. Ooh, yo, yo. Y'all won't catch me even on here talking or blaming or complaining or being upset or even mentioning the person I was with when I found out. Pay attention that I said I was with. That doesn't mean just because I was with that person when I found out I had herpes doesn't mean that that person gave me herpes. But when I did find out herpes, that's what I believed. I used to blame. I used to play the blame game. But none of that is going to do anything. What you do is you're tagging, you're letting this person live rent-free in your mind. Now moving forward, every time you're talking about something that you cannot cure or something that you're going to be spending the rest of your life with herpes, you're tagging on this person that you don't even like, that you can't even stand to your story. You have to separate the two. Take your power back. I took my power back by stop blaming this person and saying, hey, I didn't know it was included in STD panel. I wasn't requiring to see STD results. Herpes is a creeping virus that can lie dormant in your body. And I never even reviewed my STD results after getting tested. Once I was able to do that for me, my herpes story became less about who I thought gave it to me and more about me and moving forward and growth and, and celebrating and loving myself, flaws and all. Okay, I'm really not going to be here for the blame game, y'all. I don't want to have y'all focus on the shit that you can't change. Okay, you have herpes now. Who cares who gave it to you or how you got it? You have it. You can't get rid of it moving forward. I don't like to stay stuck in that. I feel like that is the stigma and that's what's going to keep you stuck by trying to focus on shit that you can't change. You can't change it. It happened. Why are we still talking about it? You want to continue talking about this person? Do you still love this person? Do you still want to be with this person? You want to always talk about this person for the rest of your life because herpes is lifelong. Like, is that what you want to do? Or do you want to change your narrative? This narrative and perspective that you have about your herpes right now is obviously not working for you. You feel away. You haven't accepted it. You feel stigmatized. So maybe it's time to change your story. It's time to talk about it in a different way. It's time to let go of the stuff you can't change and, and speak something else into your life. Again, your mind has to arrive to the destination before your life ever has an opportunity of catching up. But if you stay stuck here, your life is never going to catch up to what you think you want with your herpes. Can't nobody blame me for nothing, okay? Can't nobody do anything to me. Again, what I said, validations and other people's opinions, they don't pay my bills, they don't give me an orgasm, they don't feed me, they don't take care of me. So I don't allow it to have power over my life and how I decide to show up in this world. Once you know that you are sad, once you know you've been stigmatized, I need you to understand that that narrative is going to be a choice moving forward. You have options. You can live a happy, healthy life with herpes. There's a lot of us out here living happy, healthy lives with herpes, but you got to want to tell yourself something different. You got to want to do something different for yourself. You say, show up, uplift yourself. You got to stop wanting to speak down on you. You got to stop using the herpes stigma as a comfort zone and an and a outlet for not dealing with your shit. The stigma becomes alcohol. It becomes a new drug. People take drugs so they don't have to deal with this shit. People blame the herpes stigma. People blame how they got it or who they think that they got it from instead of dealing with their own shit. Let go of fear of being judged. 
The fear of being judged stems from how you are judging yourself. You believe it. It triggers you because you believe it. Again, like I said earlier, judgment is only a reflection on how someone else feels about themselves. It never has anything to do with you unless you are triggered by it. And if you're triggered by it, it must have some truth to it. But if you decide to react instead of reflect, you'll never grow from it. And it will always trigger you. You got to be willing to sit with yourself and say, why is this triggering me? When have I heard this before? When have I felt this way before? How can I get through this? How can, example, you have herpes, you're dirty. How can someone calling me dirty not trigger me anymore? Are you dirty? Is that why it triggers you? Do you feel like you need to be more cleansy? Is that why you trigger you? Because can't nobody tell me I'm dirty because I'm clean. The fuck? That don't, they can't trigger me. I know my life. They don't live my life. So why has, why do words and the opinions of other people have so much power on how you showing up for yourself? Who are you? Are you even your true self? If other people's words can have so much power over you, do you know who you are? If other people's words can have so much power over you. And if you don't, that's okay. Congratulations. You're aware. You can change that now. 